Uh, I don't know why I wanted to do that. I just thought about doing that. I just, I never know what you're going to do. I just <laughs> kind of just go with it. Yeah, exactly. That's all you can do. And going with it is exactly what Piedmont did tonight. Yeah, yeah. That was one of the better, best high school football game I've ever seen. Um, you know, it was, uh, you know, it was built up. There was a lot of hype. Top, top 10 matchup. Uh, standing room only at the Creek Bank. Um, was anybody standing in the Creek Bank? I don't know. They may have been. But <laughs> anyway, you know, I mean, it was, um, you know, Scoreless first quarter, and then you know, it just got crazy. You know, <laughs> scores of all. You know, there was defensive touchdowns. There was there was there was big plays and you know, all that. You know, Piedmont took control of the game. They were up thirty five fourteen in the um, um, midway through the third quarter. But then Taylor Eubank showed that he's not just a runner. <laughs> he um um you know he made several big um, big pass plays and several big runs and got um, thanks to an onside kick got. Um, Ohatchee oh, back uh, within 38-35 and went for an onside, another onside kick, didn't get it, and were able to hold Piedmont and had a fourth and three. And when you got Taylor Hayes <laughs> in that offensive line, yeah. it's hard to not go for a fourth and three. And a nine-yard run picked the, picked it up, and then they went down and scored and, and sealed the win. So it was a you know, it was a very clutch call from Steve Smith and, uh, and the Piedmont coaches. But – it paid off for him, and that was a, that was a great win. And I think these team, I think these teams could meet again in the playoffs. You know, right. Ohachi proved tonight that they're, you know, they they get some things fixed, and you know, they could have won that game. Right, right. I was keeping up with that one when I was down I twenty at Pell City with Oxford. Took their three six A three A six A region seven championship and left with it. <laughs> uh, there was it was three nothing at the first quarter. Then eight people scores three touchdowns, three different rays. He ran for a fourteen yarder. Through for some, uh, through for a pass to Connor Sire, and then caught one from Jake P- uh, Jack P- PV. Man, I'm struggling tonight. But That's I mean, late. the Yellow Jackets are for real. Mm. Their defense is stout. Probably the best line I can call in the entire con- uh, entire country, entire state. Man. Anyways, Alexander kept their hopes alive for the playoffs. Yeah, they did. That was a that was a, a big you know, Gunnersville, they hadn't lost a lot, you know, yeah lately, you know, in the past few years and you know, beating Gunnersville is a, is a big thing and you know, Alexander took care of business and a win against Crossville next week, you know, should get them in the playoffs. Right. Speaking of playoffs, Jacksonville Center shaping up to be a good one now. Yeah, yeah, you know, just like we had Oxford and Pell City this week and Ohatchee Piedmont, we're gonna have um Jacksonville um uh, Cherokee County next week and that should be a, a big game in center. So right. um you know, Jacksonville's undefeated. Um, Cherokee County's got a couple of early season losses to good teams, um, and, but they've been rolling lately. So, you know, that should be um, that should be a good one. Right, running through the rest of these scores, um, Anderson dropped uh, two hooks left by 29. Uh, Randolph County, 61, Weaver 41. Spring Garden, 45 nothing over Holy Spirit. 55-31, Raglan over Donahoe. 41-12, Cedar Bluff over JCA, which sets up the also- Impressive Spring Garden Cedar Bluff yeah. game mm-hmm. next week. Sacks with a 27-24 playoff clinching mm-hmm. win over Aniana. Yeah. And then Munford, 45, Chesburg, 12. Final thoughts? Well, you know, Welburn picked up a clutch win against Glencoe, too. You know, that, ge- that keeps their playoff hopes alive. And things could get very interesting for that 3A Region 5 um, here in the next couple of weeks. So, you know, Seeing how that's going to shake out and who gets in the playoffs, you know, those final two spots is going to be is going to be fun to watch. Right, and we'll watch you guys next Friday.